These are things that I will never buy again. These are things I probably will not buy again. And these are things that I'm trying not to ever buy again. We're all different. So you can tell me how you disagree in the comments. Just be nice. Here's my list. One that I have not bought for years is magazines. I used to love magazines. At one point, I had probably six or seven coming into our house monthly. They literally piled up. I never read them, I never flipped through them, and I thought, why on earth am I keeping these things? They're just taking up space. I recycled all of them, and I stopped all subscriptions. You can probably get all that information either on TV, Netflix, Prime, HGTV, well that would be TV, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram. Why would I pay for a magazine that's just taking up space that makes me feel guilty that I'm not reading it? No more magazines. Okay, this one's a big one and I think that I might step on some toes because some of you love your gadgets but I no longer buy gadgets for my home. But there is some exceptions in there and I will explain what those are in a second. But pretty much, if it is a gadget that is replacing a knife, I'll use the knife. Anything that I have to now store and figure out what to do with it, I'm just not going to buy it. The gadgets I'm talking about are something that are specific to one thing. It will cut up an avocado. I can cut up an avocado very easily on my own with a knife and a spoon. An apple corer slicer thing. I don't need a gadget to do it. Now here are some exceptions. I have arthritis in my hands. And so if I am no longer able to do something with a knife or a spoon because my fingers just don't bend that way anymore and there is a gadget that will help me to do that, I'm gonna spend the money for that. Diet food. I am no longer buying these pre-packaged diet foods and I haven't for quite some time. These pre-packaged things that make you feel like you're getting this wonderful food that you didn't have to prepare is not doing any favors to your body. And I honestly don't think it actually helps you to lose weight in the long run. I'm no nutritionist. I will just say that right from the get-go. So this is just something I'm not doing. I'm just no longer buying things that are diet. In fact, my husband is the one who does most of the grocery shopping. And I've told him, if it says light, low fat, diet, keto, whatever it is, don't buy it. I want clean ingredients, real food, and that's what we're eating now instead of all those prepackaged things. Hey, I just wanted to pop on here real quick and say that this channel is all about simplifying life in your midlife. I cover all things about beauty, your home, organizing, decluttering, and I'm even on a health journey to lose weight and get healthier. If that interests you, please consider subscribing. All right, back to the video. Okay. Keurigs or pods or things like that. I bought them for years. I'm done. One of the best things I ever bought was this Breville coffee maker. I love this thing. It grinds my coffee beans to the exact kind of grind that I love. I can make it as strong or as light as I want it. I can make a single cup or I can make a 12 pot. It is amazing. I will no longer do these Keurigs or pods. It's so much more money than buying whole beans that you now grind and you get so much better coffee out of it candles. Oh my word, my daughter's mad at this one. <laughs> she loves a candle. I feel like when I buy a candle, I'm burning money. I don't generally like the smell of them. So that's a personal preference. I would rather just have no scent in my home instead of feeling like that candle is covering up a scent that I don't like. And on that same vein, I will say anything that's scented, I'm generally not buying anymore. So that goes for even essential oils. I tried that thing for a while. First off, I'm actually not a huge fan of the smell of essential oils. And I know, again, that's a preference thing. When you walk into my home, you smell clean. I'm not talking about bleach and Lysol and things like that. I'm just talking about pretty much no scent. Like you just don't smell anything. If I feel like my house has got an odor to it, 
I will open up all the windows, even in the middle of the winter, and just air out the place. Or I will clean. I'll take out the garbage or I'll clean the sink. Okay, this was really hard for me to do. I love a good planner. I am literally drawn to them in the store. I have purchased a small fortune in planners. I've tried all different kinds. I literally, I probably have spent, I don't even want to guess how much I've spent on planners. I will not do it anymore for a couple reasons. One is just the logistics of it. It's very difficult for me to write for any length of time because of my arthritis. Secondly, they always disappoint. Always. There's not one. And I've, I've looked at all of them. Believe me, I've looked at all of them. So what do I do instead? I'm all digital. So I've tried, oh boy, I've tried a bunch digital as well. I obviously use like Google Calendar that keeps track of things, but I am using a website called Notion. It's very complicated. <laughs> it doesn't have to be as complicated, but I tend to complicate things. I've been learning how to use it and it's wonderful because it allows me to make it be what I want it to be. And I'm not trying to get you to use Notion. I'm just saying if, you are one of those people who spends a ton on calendars and planners and all of these things. You might want to consider going digital in some form or another. Cheap shoes. I spend as much as I need to to get a shoe that will fit me well, that I can wear for the long run. No pun intended. I don't run. Long walk. <laughs> and I can keep it on all day and still look cute and feel comfortable. My favorite brand is Vionix, but I will be honest with you, I haven't really researched a whole bunch of different brands on comfortable, supportive shoes that also look cute. But pretty much all winter, I'm wearing Vionix, and pretty much all summer, I'm using some Vionix and also Fit Flops. They're wonderful. Vionix, you can get some of them on Amazon, but a lot of them are not. So go to their website, Fit Flops. I have found all of them on Amazon and I am in love with their flip flops from Fit Flop. Okay, this is an obvious one, but I will not buy bottled water anymore. I only buy it if I am in a situation where there's no other option. I pretty much always bring with me a water bottle. The cost of water bottles are ridiculous. Besides what it's doing to our poor planet, such a good decision to switch to just reusable water bottles. I love the look of a seasonal kitchen towel, but I just won't buy them anymore. I love the look until they're washed once. And then I don't so much like the look anymore because now it looks kind of faded and they fade pretty quickly, even if you buy good quality ones. And then I'm using it to wipe up something that is now got a stain on it. It looks very pretty in the store, all crisp and clean and beautiful and flat until you actually use the thing. So no more seasonal towels. Okay, decor pillows kind of in that same vein, either just regular decor pillows. I do have two that sit on my couch in my living room. We actually use them. One of them is pretty thick and we actually use it to like hold ourselves up if we want to lean a different way or we use it to lay down on if we're laying down on the couch. I am no longer constantly trying to buy a new pillow that will make it look pretty or ones that will go with a different decor for the season. The only exception to that is I do have a couple Christmas ones that I actually like and I just keep reusing them. I totally gave up having pillows on my bed. I'm like, why am I doing this? It's something I have to take off every night and put back on in the morning and make it look nice and I take it off and I put it back on and I take it off and I put it back on and ah, uh, why? It just does not seem logical because nobody sees this but me and my husband and he doesn't care. Why do I care? Now, if you truly care about it, go for it. Any of these things, if you truly care about, go for it. I don't care about it. I don't want the effort. I don't want to deal with it. I have to put it someplace when it's not on the bed. I have to make sure it stays clean. I'm just like, I just don't want to do it anymore for just me. Okay, again, on decor, I do not buy decor just to stay on trend. I try to buy decor pieces that are timeless, that I like 
for the long haul that I am not going to switch out constantly. I don't have this huge cabinet down in my basement to replace what's on some kind of shelf somewhere. What you see is what I have it's not getting changed out. There is the exception of maybe at Christmas, I do have some things that I change out. That's it. I don't change my decor for anything else. You can see behind me on my mantle here, the only thing I've added is some real pumpkins. Those are actual real pumpkins or gourds, I guess. A pumpkin is a gourd, isn't it? I don't know. That's all I have put on there. I have no other kind of fall decor anymore, which again, my daughter thinks is terrible but it's my house, not hers. I keep telling her she can totally decorate her apartment when she gets one. <laughs> oh, and my cat is a decor piece too. <laughs> Another thing I don't do anymore is put decor where there is no decor just to fill up the space. Hear me out. So you can see right here on this wall, it's empty. It used to have two like shabby chic kind of mirrors with these wreaths in the front of them. The wreaths were made of some kind of hay and somehow we got moths in them. And so we had these tiny little moths. It took us months to figure out where these moths were coming from. We took the whole thing down. That has remained empty for months and I'm okay with it. It's gonna remain empty until I have found the exact Thing I want. I just know that for me anymore, I'm not putting any decor piece out or furniture or anything like that unless I absolutely love it. I am stopped buying holiday disposable plates and napkins and cups and things. Maybe a napkin because napkins are something that we would use anyways and throw them away. I am not going to now buy a plate and a cup to match the whole thing. Like, to me, that's such, such a waste of money. I would much rather just use the plates we have and I can make it all look pretty even with those. Okay, I am no longer buying physical books. Some of it is because, again, my arthritis. It's very hard for me to hold a book in my hand. It's my fingers literally hurt holding it. I will put a pillow on my lap and I will hold the book on my lap. But instead, I just went and got a Kindle, and that's absolutely been a game changer. And if you have arthritis, or if you're buying a Kindle for somebody who does have arthritis in their hands, buy them the Kindle Oasis, because it's very light, but it has an extra space where your hand can rest without it touching the screen. I don't have to store books anywhere. They're all in my Kindle, so it's one little thing. It sits in my little reading nook so I can just pick it up when I want it. I can highlight things. There is one exception. I belong to a book club kind of Bible study. When everybody else has an actual book in their hands, they will start referencing page numbers. Like, oh, on page 86, she said, the page numbers never match up. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, where are they talking about? <laughs> that is the only thing I'm not a huge fan about. And I've considered just buying that book for that situation. <laughs> but otherwise, the Kindle has been one of the best purchases that I have ever bought. Okay, I will not buy cheap skincare. Cheap does not necessarily mean inexpensive. I have some inexpensive skincare that I think is amazing. I must know if this is an actual good product. I'm reading ingredients. I'm looking at reviews. I'm finding out if this is something that I think I should be putting on my skin. So if it's something that I think that I need or is really making a difference in my skin, I will spend the extra money for it because that is a game changer to me. No longer am I going the cheap route. I go the best route I can afford, but also for my skin. I will never, I should never say never. <laughs> I don't think I will ever buy a subscription box again. And I've bought a few of them. I can't even remember all their names. I just don't think they're worth it. You know, it's so tempting. You see like a YouTuber say they loved this box and what they got on it. And you see a couple things in there going, oh, I wanted to try that. And it only cost her 50 bucks. And that product alone is 50 bucks, but they got all these other things. The problem is, is I would get those things and at least half of them were things that in the end, I didn't really want or need. 
I would not have gone out to the store to get them. There might have been the occasional ones in there, but it's just not worth it to me to now have to deal with a product that I kind of don't even want. And yes, I gave some things away to friends, but really, would that be the thing that I actually would have bought them if I had thought through a gift for them? Maybe not. I don't need to have things in my home that I don't actually absolutely need or absolutely want. So I will just go buy those things if I really want or need them and not have a whole bunch of crap in my house that I do not need. I won't buy cut flowers. I may cut flowers from my garden and bring them in, but again, I personally feel like I am just buying something to die. <laughs> That's just how I feel. I know some of you love your cut flowers and you're like, Trader Joe's is the best place and it, they are the best place if you're gonna buy cut flowers. To me, they get in the way, the petals fall off, the water gets murky. It's just another thing I have to do. So <laughs> I appreciate if somebody gives me flowers, that's very sweet. I will not go buy them. I just, nope. Okay, clothes I do not love, no longer. And that means I have less clothes. So be it. I never wore them anyways. I did a whole video about this. I will link that at the end of this video. Game changer to be able to walk into your closet and go, I like all of this. And if you don't love it, get rid of it and go get some ones that you do love, no matter what size you are. You deserve to have clothes that look good on you. Okay, this is one that I'm trying to do and it's been hard. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my cleaning supplies. I have done this a couple times and cleaned my laundry room. You guys have seen me do this where I've gotten rid of some things. I still have too much. I want to get down to the point where I use like one brand, like I don't even know the name of them. I'll put some here. I have to get rid of the ones I have first and then be able to have a very simplified cleaning plan with cleaning products that are not bad for us, in other words, a ton of chemicals, but are also effective. On the same lines, one thing I have not done for years is buy those big, bulky laundry detergent tub cleaning things, I don't know what you call them. I, for a long time, made my own laundry detergent. Frankly, my family didn't love it and they have to do their laundry too. So I switched to Molly's Suds. I get it on Amazon and it is by Molly's Suds who sells it on Amazon and I love it. It works great, it's economical, it's better for the environment because it's not coming in these massive tub plastic things. It just smells clean, it doesn't smell flowery. I also get her whitener and so I don't use bleach anymore. Very rarely will I use a bleach and so my clothes are doing so much better because I'm not using bleach because that really does deteriorate your clothes and I don't think it's very good for the environment either. Meal delivery services. I have to just be honest, I've only tried one which was HelloFresh and I've tried it a couple times. For us, how our life is right now, to me it is not worth it. I am not saying they're bad. I actually enjoyed a few of the meals that we had delivered. They were great. I just cannot warrant the cost of them for when I can go to the store and get those ingredients and make it. Now, people could say, but will you? Will you actually go buy them? Maybe not. Did you know? Okay, there are so many. I looked this up and there's more than just this. There's HelloFresh, HomeFresh, Martha Stewart has her own, Tempo, Eat Clean, Every Plate, Green Chef, Factor. Those are the only ones I saw when I Googled it. So there's probably way more. For me right now, it's not worth it. Maybe when we retire, that seems like something we would wanna do, I don't know. So I will not say I'll never buy those again. I literally do have way too many containers and I won't buy them anymore. Before I started downsizing and getting rid of all the extra stuff in our home, I had to store them in containers and I was constantly looking for the next best container, the container that would fit this perfect space, this container that would be cute, but also be able to hold all my stuff. I kept some containers 
because you do have things that change out and I don't want to go buy them again. I will not buy another container unless I literally have no other option and I have to put something in some kind of container. But I will literally go down and measure and try every other option before I'm going to buy another container. Okay, this is something I have not completely gotten rid of, but I'm trying to get rid of, and that is greeting cards. I understand they serve a purpose in certain situations. I think that a greeting card is great when you have somebody you love who doesn't live near you and you want to let them know you're thinking of them and more than just a text of I'm thinking of you. I actually think a letter would be even more special because who receives letters at this point? But I'm not gonna write a letter either, so I totally get that. I also think like a sympathy card is absolutely a way of letting them know that you're thinking of them, you're praying for them. Here's when I don't use greeting cards. I am not going to hand a gift to somebody. I am there right in front of them and it's got a card attached to it. They don't need a greeting card that they literally are going to go home and throw away. I just spent five bucks easily on a card, a piece of paper <laughs> that they're gonna throw away because I don't keep my greeting cards. Like the only ones I kind of keep are if my kids or my husband gives me one and they literally write all over it. But most people don't do that. Most people just sign their name. Unless I am giving a gift card. That's the only time if I'm actually handing them something. <laughs> and I'm giving them a gift card. And then when I'm doing that, I'm trying to find the cheapest card because the sentiment is not really in the card itself. It's in the fact that I gave them a gift. That's why I'm saying I'm trying to do less, but I'm not perfect on this.